Good morning. Welcome to Good Vibes. I'm Lisa Houck, the hippie chick. Good morning. <laughs> Just do a little airbase. Here with Dane Hitting. Do a little airbase. He was playing with the music. We need to tell Dane Hitting happy birthday. 32 years old. He made it. I did. I made it. Yay. The big 3-2 three, two on 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Uh, three, two on 3-2. Three, two. I think yeah. that must mean something. It's a... <laughs> It's a bad omen. It's not a bad omen. It's a good omen. <laughs> okay. The 30s are going to be fabulous for you. They're, they're going fine so far. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they keep doing okay. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. But since you're aging so quickly, yeah. I wanted to talk about senior nutrition. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Let's talk about it. Let's, okay. Does it have anything to do with cheeseburgers? Mm, well, what to avoid might fall under that category. <laughs> then we're going to have some problems, 32. <laughs> Well, let's talk about our our February and sure. March challenges okay. first, because okay. we just wrapped up February, and okay. that was doing uh, reading every day, trying to read something out of a mm-hmm. book every day that you love, mm-hmm. and doing five minutes of meditation a day. So, did you do that at all? Uh, uh, the reading, yes, absolutely. Yeah, you read all the time. The the meditation, not as uh, it's been mostly uh, trying to. I I didn't. No, you're just saying no. You yeah, didn't. I didn't knowingly meditate. Let's put it <laughs> okay. that way. But I'll yes, I, that. I definitely did do an influx of reading of a multitude of different Well, topics. that's cool. One yeah. out of two isn't yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. And I think our next one, you ought to be able to get one of them in. If, oh, I would okay. hope you'll try for both, though. Uh, okay. So our March challenge is doing six songs that you love a day. Oh, yeah. Listening to six songs you love a day. Everybody can do Easy. that. In the car, on the way to work. Easy. Do it every day. Mm-hmm. And then four colors on your plate. So four different colors on your plate. So if you can achieve that with the cheeseburger, I might let you get by with it. I can. All right. We can maybe make that work. Brown meat. (laughs) Yellow cheese. Yes. Red ketchup. Uh Uh-huh. White cream mayonnaise. Oh, white's not a color. Okay, then the brown bun or the tan bun. Okay. Well... All right, we'll let you have that one just because it's your th- birthday. And how about this? I'll throw on some veggies. Just how about I'll throw green on for lettuce? I'm, I might do some lettuce. Okay. Is this once Spinach. a day, though? Is this once a day? No, this is every meal. You should every try meal. to go for four colors on your plate. Um, I'm screwed. You can do it. Dane, not Dane, yes. Drake. Drake. Yes. Drake, who does The Edge, our newsletter, it came out today. Mm-hmm. He asked me to write an article. Yeah about nutrition so i wanted to do this show along with it so if you want to see the graphic Mm -hmm. i worked off of it shows you a plate and gives you suggestions about what you can do each category Mm -hmm. go look at the edge newsletter and uh, there's also an article from me on um, women's history month too because it's this it starts in march yep Uh women's uh, national women's history month that's awesome Mm -hmm. i bet that's a great article i think i I know you love women and strong women i do and history so yeah absolutely Perfect. So check out the Edge newsletter and and uh, read our articles. Yes. Okay. So here are some of the advantages of good nutrition on seniors. Okay. And I think this probably could go anybody. for anybody, yeah. but I specifically targeted this towards True. seniors. Um, it can make you live longer and be stronger. Okay. It can reduce the risk of heart disease, mm-hmm. stroke, mm-hmm. high blood pressure, mm-hmm. type two diabetes, bone loss, and cancer. That's pretty amazing. That's a that's pretty that's a pretty strong cell. I think mm-hmm. can also boost your immunity, which helps to fight toxins and keep your weight healthy. Okay, okay. It can sharpen your memory mm-hmm. and mental acuity. I didn't know that. And if you can try to bump up the omega three fats in your diet, mm-hmm. um, those can really help improve your focus and decrease your risk of Alzheimer's and some things that ha- are high in that. Are fish, fish right? yeah. leafy vegetables, mm-hmm. and nuts. Mm-hmm. So, nuts like, I'm protein. not a fish eater, but I eat nuts all the time. Yeah, and nuts have protein as well, too. So. They do, mm-hmm. absolutely. Um, and green tea is also great for um, alertness and memory. Right. Um, more than food, you sh- I, think, I feel like seniors can take advantage of making meals a social experience. Mm-hmm. Um, because I think it's very easy to try to isolate yourself as you get older and the kids have all moved away and, you know, mm-hmm. you're on your own. Um, so if you can invite friends or family over for your meals, I think that makes your meals more enjoyable. 
more of a yeah, social mm -hmm. And maybe you right. might eat a little more. Right. Um, you can also go to senior centers in mm -hmm. towns mm -hmm. and socialize. Or if you're in a long-term care facility, if you go to the dining room, you know, because some people I know like to eat in their own rooms, but if you can go to the dining room and get some socialization, I think that's great for you. Um, the guidelines for older people say you should have an increase in protein, fruits, and vegetables. Okay. And you should go for colors that are as dark as possible. So let's give an example of iceberg lettuce okay. versus spinach. Okay. Pale green versus dark green. You want to go for that darker, brighter green okay. because that means there's more vitamins and nutrition. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. All iceberg lettuce is is water and a little fiber. There's really no nutritional value to it. Interesting. So I never eat a salad with iceberg lettuce. I always eat mixed greens or spinach or oh. something because you Pretty get good. much more nutrition in the same. Well, also, it's you know a senior that happens to be on rehab of some kind and is taking therapy for rehab has got to have the caloric intake as well on top of that, mm -hmm. in order to especially the protein. Have a get any genuine. So I mean, you have to have the you have to have the caloric intake just for the energy in and of itself, just to be able to perform to the, the workout mm -hmm. as well as the protein to rebuild the muscle. So that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah, and then calcium. You're probably not maybe getting as much of that if you're doing this high protein fruit and veggie diet. Mm -hmm. So some ways to slip calcium into your diet would be tofu, which is not my thing, <laughs> but but it's a it is a good source of calcium. Broccoli, which I love broccoli. Can you just drink milk for calcium? Well, but that's not as healthy for seniors to drink milk. I so like you can, yes. Yeah. I'm not going to say you should not do it at uh -huh. all but it's not the healthiest not thing the healthiest you can do. Okay. Mm -hmm. that makes sense. so almonds now if you drink almond milk that would be a great substitute that would be healthier for you mm -hmm. and kale is wonderful and i know kale was so big for a while and it's kind of dropped off but i really do love kale i love kale chips have you ever had those i will make them for you it's wonderful okay. i mean i'm all, I, mm -hmm. i'm not a big vegetable guy but i I'm, I'm they're great to snack on you just toss them I'll with olive oil salt anything. and pepper and bake them real slow and let them dehydrate and when they come out they're just like little potato chips oh i mean I'll give and you can shot. put a little lemon on them and yeah they're yummy so instead of potatoes it's kale but they kale they, is is healthier for you well i'm mm -hmm. sure yeah. yeah yeah and then some good facts for seniors would be omega-3s, and we talked about those a second ago. Olive oil or coconut oil are also good choices. Mm -hmm. And you should vary your sources of protein. So protein shouldn't always be a slab of red meat on mm -hmm. your plate. You should, you know, not even fish all the time. You can go seeds, you can go beans, legumes, peas, which are wonderful, and eggs are all peas good sources. Peas have protein? Peas are high in protein. I didn't know peas have protein. Mm -hmm. And so all of those are good sources of protein that might not be a big slab of meat on your plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and my so uh, you, when you said something about the olive oil, mm -hmm. my grandma, who was an old Italian woman, mm. she put olive oil on it. <laughs> Me too. So I put olive oil on everything. For her. Uh, yeah. I, you know, ever since since she died, I I don't think I've had olive oil on anything. I that's all I since. use. I mean, I have. Yeah. other oil in my house but 99 percent of the time i use olive oil on everything yeah even last night we had lexi's birthday dinner i made uh, stuffed shells and then i made garlic bread instead of putting butter on the bread i put olive oil oh you know <laughs> i mean that's, uh, that's we use yeah. olive oil yeah. so and then if you're going to have carbs which of course you should still have try to go with whole grains as opposed to white sources mm -hmm. there are some great um alternatives out there now that the gluten-free mm -hmm. movement has kind of come to fruition. Um, you can even think pastas. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm pretty picky about pasta. I bet you are too, since your Incredibly. grandma was Italian. Incredibly, um, yeah. But you can get quinoa pasta is fabulous. Okay. And that's a protein. Quinoa is a whole protein. Well, and I mean, I know there are people that do like the no carb diet uh, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but you do, you need, carbs, you, yeah. need you have mm -hmm. got to have carbs. It provides energy to your body so that way you can actually function you in do. today's yeah. society or or at all yeah. uh, it's a big part of uh energy so you got to have some sort of carbohydrate of some degree so uh but i lori does the no carb diet i know that um i probably because what i've heard on what you need but the th but the thing is though is a lot of those diets are for um when the reason why I don't like the no carb diet is because I am still in my 30s and that's not really great for a 
still a younger body. So, um, well, now that you're 32, now that I'm 32, <laughs> we can. I, I think you should start thinking a little more like a senior. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start moving on to pudding and stuff like that. I think the lime jello. Yeah, and yeah. having a, having dinner at 4:30. I'm gonna have to start doing that. I'm old now. But something that you can easily do at yeah. any age is use more herbs and spices instead of salt. Because salt isn't always healthy for older adults that might have high blood pressure or yeah. something. Yeah. But herbs and spices are a great substitute. In fact, you know, I will, I have a lot, I have a big spice cabinet. Gary, I'm in trouble, man. I eat all of these things that you say you don't eat. <laughs> and now my back hurts just from the thought of it. <laughs> Is your life insurance paid up? Yeah. Is, it? is my life insurance paid up? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but I have a huge spice cabinet because I cook all kinds of cuisine all the time. And I grow as many spices as I can oh, when okay. the weather permits. And then I dry them and keep them during the winter to use. So when one of my containers gets low, I have another little jar that I just keep. And when things get low, I just dump the leftovers in that jar and make a spice blend. Oh. And it that's a, that's really, I use that as like an all-around seasoning for lots of things, and it's so yeah. good, and it replaces a lot of the salt I use. That's kind of cool. Although, I am an advocate of pink Himalayan sea salt. That's really the only salt I use. I do not use white iodinized salt for anything except throw it on the sidewalk if it's <laughs> icy. If it's icy outside. Yeah. I do not put that in my body. Pink Himalayan sea salt is pink because of all the minerals that are in it naturally. Mm -hmm. And it's very good for you as an oppo as opposed to. So what are you trying to say here? Processed white salt. Are you saying salt. I got about like ten years to live or something? No, I just think you need to I think need about this. You know, as you're aging and getting older sucks. <laughs> but for our friends that are older out it's there, it's my birthday. I'm yeah. supposed to be happy. It's called a happy birthday. Happy and, birthday. And you're like you, Dave, you have like five more years <laughs> Not to at live all. because of your diet. <laughs> Not at all. I'm just kidding. Not I'm at joking. all. But you know, Lori did just have a heart attack. She did. <laughs> She reminds us. That, that, is, that is a true story. That is a true story. <laughs> so, think about some of these things and please go read. Would you say four colors? Four colors on your plate. Okay. You can do it. Go look at the graphic in okay. the edge. I will. And it'll help you have a better understanding. Four everybody go okay. do that. And then the other thing everybody needs to go do is their CNA Fest stuff. Yes. Register, club account, essay contest. All kinds of different things. All I, kinds of things out there. And if you had, to, if you didn't get a scholarship last year, and there's some confusion. I want to correct something just oh, real okay. quick. There is some confusion because people are, for some weird reason, are thinking because they've gone to conference before, they can't do the essay. Oh, gosh. That's no. not true. Uh -uh. Um, if you won a scholarship last year, you could have won a scholarship before, but if you, if you won a scholarship last year... Unfortunately, you wouldn't be chosen for this year because we want other people to have. Chances. We have. We want other people yeah. to have the opportunity to go. Um, but if you have won in the past, it just wasn't last year. Then by all means, fill one go out. Absolutely. If you filled one out last year and didn't go, you can still fill. Yes, one out if this you didn't year. get selected last year to win the scholarship, you're still eligible. It's an entirely free ride to go. Absolutely. Uh, your registration is paid. Everything, your meals, uh, your lodging, as well as your travel expenses. Are also paid whether that means if you're flying or if you're having to drive nothing it doesn't matter um, please go ahead and do fill out the essay answer the question remember we do not judge on grammar mm -hmm. it doesn't have anything to do with that um, but it's if just you, if you answer the question answer the question and, and give the best exactly. response answer mm -hmm. the question and it's based on the best response possible I'm not the one that judges it mm -mm. nor is anyone else here we use independent reviewers to do that and then we choose our selections based on how much money we get in from scholarships. Right. So, we give out as many as we can right. so, based on how much money we've received for scholarships. So if you're somebody that's interested in sponsoring a scholarship, you mm -hmm. need to reach out to us also. Or if you're a CNA and you know of your um, your medical supply representative or something like that. Hey, or the you people might, you buy your uniforms from. You might or, sponsor mm -hmm. CNA Fest. That means more people are going to have the opportunity. Absolutely. To and we have some great sponsorship documents. So if you are interested in reaching out to somebody like that, let us know. And we're glad to provide those documents to you Absolutely. to give to them. Absolutely. So, all right. Well, later in the week, we're going to have another fun topic. I'm going to delve okay. more into nutrition. And I think there's some fun things to talk about. Let's go. So. All right. So until we see you later in the week, peace out. Thank you.